So today I've got my favorite image widget animation as using GSAP scroll trigger to actually power it. Now, if I scroll down on this page, you'll see these images at work. There's one image doing the parallax effect and you can see it going up. Here's a second one over here. It's really a cool effect. And if we scroll back up, you can see it working in the opposite direction. It's really easy to do and it really makes your design just stand out so much more. So let me show you how to make this effect in Elemental. Here in the Elemental page builder, I'm going to go and put in three different containers. The middle one's going to be the one with the actual effects. The other two is just to give space on the page so you can see it nicely when we're viewing it in the front end. So let me just start that off over here. Just click the plus, flex, container, and then just duplicate it three times. The bottom one, I'm going to give a min height of VH to 100. And I'm going to do the same thing with the top one. I'm going to change to VH and 100. Now, if I click on this middle container, it's going to scroll down over there. And this is where we're going to set up that image. So now for the settings of this container, what we're going to do is I'm going to go content width. I'm going to say full width and make sure it's full width. Now the min height isn't really important in this one. We are going to concentrate on that in the inner container over here, but right over here on this whole section container, it doesn't really matter. The direction I'm going to change to horizontal because I'm going to have an image and then text on the other side. And then the justify content, I'm going to say center and align item center. Okay, so now that that's done, now we're going to add the inner containers over here. So I'm going to click on the plus sign. I'm going to click and drag this container widget and then let go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate it. So the one is going to house the image and then the other one's going to house text content. So let me start off with the text content. So over here, I'm going to click the plus, take the title, put it in, maybe change the style just to a black. And then I'm going to go and take the text editor, click and drag that, put it over here as well. And that's pretty much good to go. Now for the container on the left hand side that's going to have the image. So the first thing that we have to do is we're going to change some settings about this container. So if I click onto this container with this icon over here, or I can click it in the navigator, the min height, I'm going to change this to VH and I'm going to set this to about 55. Now the smaller you make this in VH, the bigger the effect is going to be. And the opposite is true as well. So if you make this a lot bigger, then the image isn't going to move as much. So I think a 55 is pretty nice. Then if I go down to additional options, I'm going to make sure that the overflow is hidden. Then once I've done that, then the last thing that I have to do to this container is under advanced. I have to give this a class name. The code is going to be looking for two things. It's going to be looking for the container and it's going to be looking for the image. So it needs a reference point for the image and a reference point of what container we want this effect to offset of. So this container, I'm going to be calling it parallax section. Then when we have that done, then all we're going to do is put in the image widget over here. So I'm going to click on the plus sign. We're going to look for the image, click and drag that across and let go. Okay, so now let's go and choose one of our images. Now I'm going to be using this one over here. It's one of the ones that I use in the example. Now that we have the image, I'm just going to go to click on to style. The width, I want this maxed up to 100%. The max width, I want this to max. And then the height, I'm going to change this to VH, and I'm also going to put this to max. Then the object fit, we're going to change this. We're going to say cover, and then we're going to leave it at center center. And now that we have done all these type of stylings, now we're going to go and click on advanced. Now over here in advanced, the width, I'm going to change this to custom, and I'm going to say I want this as 100% width. Then the align self, I want center. And then the position, I'm going to change this to absolute. And here under absolute, you can see these settings here. Now, these are the offset settings. Now, by default, it has zero. We have to take the zeros out for this to work. So we just delete those. And the last thing that we have to do to this image is we have to give it a CSS class name. So for here, I'm going to call this parallax image. And that's all the settings we're going to need for this image. Now, if I want to have two sections over here with that same image effect, it's no problem. I can just go to the section right click and duplicate and then these two containers what i'm going to do is i'm just going to swap them around just like that now it's time for the code so if we go down to the bottom of the page then we can click this plus sign and we can say the html widget because we're going to have to put in our custom code and we're just going to put this at the bottom of the page now to get the code for this tutorial there's going to be a link in the description of this video it's going to take you to the reference page on my website if we just go and head there now you can see this is the page. We scroll down. Here's that code snippet. On the right hand side, all we have to do is say copy. Then we head back into Elemental 
and we will just paste it into this HTML widget. Okay, and we are done. So now if we click publish and we go view it in the front end, as you scroll down, you can see how that image effect is happening over here. So now if you want to make this effect big or smaller, all you have to do is you go to your image and its parent container, you can change that view out to a bigger or smaller look. If I wanted to have the effect a lot more, I'd change this to say a 50. And I'll do the same for this one over here. Make sure it's on the container and say 50. And if I click publish and I scroll down, you can see that effect happening a lot more now to that image. It's a great effect. I love, love, love this. It really elevates your whole website design. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing as well. That stuff makes a big difference to a small channel like mine. If you have any suggestions or anything, then just put a comment down below. Let me see what I can do. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.